I feel led today to say a prayer of refreshing for your soul that out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. Before we pray, I just want to encourage you with this story. Apostle Peter, he was renowned for his love for the Lord, and he talked a lot about how much he loved God. But when the rubber hit the road, he denied Jesus three times. And there's times, many times in my life as an individual, where I felt like Peter. And in prayer, I say, Lord, I love you. You know that I love you. And then we have John, Apostle John. And Apostle John, in his book, there's four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And in the book of John, John wrote about himself. And he said, the beloved of God, the disciple in whom Jesus loved. John thought of himself as the one being loved. And Peter thought of himself as the one loving. And when things got tough, there wasn't a lot of foundation in Peter from this perspective when it came to Jesus's crucifixion. And John was the only one there with Jesus when he was being crucified. There is a value in my own life where I've done so many things and for the kingdom and for the Lord and for others in service, many hours in prayer, long fast. And when the world starts to weigh on me, the Lord whispers in my ear behind me, this is the way, walk in it. I love you, but the Lord wants you to know today that he loves you and he wants you to prepare for him a place for that love to land. You can hear it with your ears. You can think about it in your mind. But the Lord wants to put His love into your heart. How do you receive the love of the Lord? Well, for me, a lot of it has been changing my language, changing what I say and what I do, changing my outlook, and saying things like, Father, I thank you so much for loving me, for caring about me. And in situations where there's times I would say things like, I love you, Lord. I would say, Lord, you love me. You care for me. And so as you begin to change your language, your outlook, and you begin to see and come into agreement with the word of God, because the love of God is not an emotion. The proof of the love of God was the cross. And so I'm going to pray for a refreshing over you today. And I'm going to pray for God's love in your heart and for God to begin to prepare a landing strip in yourself, in your family, in your home, a landing strip for God's love to begin to fill up that arena of your life and to begin to manifest in new ways. And I just ask that you come in agreement with me and the word of God that on the cross it was finished, that greater love hath no man than this, than a man laid down his life for his friends. The Lord laid down his life for me and for you. Well, I love you brothers and sisters, and I just invite you, close your eyes, and I'm gonna say a prayer over you. Holy Spirit, I pray right now that you begin to fill up their heart and fill up their mind, that ways of refreshing, I thank you for a new identity, new purpose, new direction. Everywhere where the enemies come to steal, to kill, or do, to destroy. I thank you for life and life more abundantly. I thank you for goodness, kindness, grace, and mercy, and favor. I thank you for the love of God and the fellowship 
of the Holy Spirit to begin to strengthen them and encourage them in their inner man that all the things of the world would begin to grow strangely dim as they look to Christ as they look to you father the author and the finisher of their faith laying aside all the weightiness of the world sin death disease and sickness and ra- running the race with patience and endurance as they look to the Lord Jesus Christ the one who has authored and finished their faith father i thank you for waves of refreshing i thank you for new life to begin to fill up their body to begin to fill up their soul father i pray that all the tactics and schemes and tricks of the enemy would just begin to dissipate and dissolve in their life that you are a god of breakthrough of more than enough lord your word says wealth and riches are in your storehouse and your righteousness endures forever why well, thank you for an enduring faith and righteousness new hope in Jesus mighty name father i pray you bless each person here today that they would be blessed in their coming blessed in their going that blessed would be their basket and their kneading bowl that blessed would be the offspring of their livestock for good that they would be blessed in the city blessed in the country that your blessings would overtake them this day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray amen and amen We love you guys. I pray that you walk in the refreshing spring of the Lord that his grace has planted you by. Those still waters, that great soil that you'll bear fruit in your season and whatsoever you do will prosper. Hallelujah. Be blessed.